I mean, even in the summertime. Again, no. It, it, lots of times in the afternoon we'll sit at the table mm-hmm. out on the deck. So that's nice. Um, What is my favorite restaurant? Favorite restaurant? Um, I was going to say Porthole, but I wouldn't consider that a restaurant. No. I'd have to say Raimondo's. That's what I was going to say is your favorite restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll go with Raimondo's. I have many of those, too. Yeah. There's a lot of... Depends on the mood. Really good restaurants. Uh, where, where is one place I don't like to be? Hmm. I'm going to say for you, in a crowd. Definitely. Um, where don't you like to be? I don't know. Where don't I like to be? In the rain. <laughs> mm, that's not bad. Uh, who is my favorite person? Me. You're my favorite person, too. <laughs> uh, where would I go for a weekend alone? Jeez. Um, weekend alone? Yeah. Even, even all by that with any other people? No other people. All on your own? Oh, somewhere on the island, probably. Yeah, I was going to say, like, probably another beach town somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say you're going to stay home. <laughs> yeah. All my favorite things are here. <laughs> you get a call that I'm in trouble. Who am I with? <laughs> Dana? Yeah. Jim Bell? <laughs> Jim Bell is probably more likely because he probably got you in trouble for doing something <laughs> stupid getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say the one person I thought. I mean, she's just not top of mind right now, but in the old days, who would have gotten me in trouble? Dina? No. <laughs> Carm? Carmella. <laughs> That's the first person that came to my uh, mind. Yeah. Uh, the person who would get you uh, the most in trouble would be Jim, your uncle, or Jim, your old roommate? Yeah. <laughs> One of those two. Yeah. <laughs> if I went to jail, what would it be for? Wow. Jaywalking. Really? <laughs> You're not a rule breaker. I'm not, but I do mouth off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I just mouthed off to the cop yeah. <laughs> that pulled me over. Well, you got pretty eyes, so he let you go. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. If you got if you got sent to jail, it would be over a road rage incident, no doubt. <laughs> What's my favorite gas station candy? Gas station candy. Mm-hmm. Well, you like you like the, the Reese's uh, fast break. Yeah, that counts. Yeah, and you're going to be take five. Yeah. What do I say the most? Jeez Louise. <laughs> say that more than anything? <laughs> That's the first thing that popped into my head. Well, I was going to say yours is, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably accurate. <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> and last question. Okay. If I could go anywhere in the world, where would I go? Oh, Hawaii? Yeah, I think that. Yeah. There are Europe. I was going to say, you know, I, I often still get confused because we had tried to come to some sort of compromise is ireland on your list that's on my list but yeah. it's it's not the it's not maybe top? the top 10 but not the top five what's the top five uh, is it greece because we had i would like yeah greece is in the top five i don't really have them in order greece is in the top five uh italy is italy. getting up there oh all the food yeah um huh and like chicago mm. you know yeah. And maybe somewhere out in the, in the Midwest with all the mountains and stuff. Yeah, there's nothing going on out there. The Yellowstone. Yellowstone Park? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where you should go on your weekend alone. <laughs> <laughs> My boss went, took a two-week vacation by himself away from his family. He did that. Drove all the way out there. You're kidding. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's got a very understanding wife. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get to the topic then that I had put up yesterday, uh, which did relate to... Your favorite television show. I want to know your favorite TV show of all time. And Jim says, I'd say Friends, but my trivia playing on the subject shows otherwise. He did all right. We we just did it better. We did. We did a little bit better than him. Uh, The greatest part about that virtual game that we played a few weeks back is he started out so strong. We were really, we were behind like three questions in the very beginning. And we came back and kicked butt he goes on to say though that roseanne because you know he just he can't do a one word answer no. <laughs> <laughs> roseanne is the most cutting edge sitcom of its day and had one of the most if not the most memorable series finales of its day i hated the series finale of roseanne 
Excuse me. It it was um the whole last season was ludicrous. I don't even remember. It, remember they won the lottery. Dan had died. Oh they yeah. They won the lottery or whatever, and then they made it so the last season. Oh no, Dan didn't die. That's what it was. And then they split. They kind of split up after they won the lottery, and then the finale was that she had written a book, and that's what the whole last season was. Was a book that she had written. And that Dan really had died the day of Darlene and David's wedding. Because remember he had a heart attack? Yeah. Okay. So, I yeah. don't know. I, it would just reminded me of Dallas when that whole, they had a whole season that was a dream. Stupid. <laughs> it's just, stu- it's like basketball. It's, it's just, just stupid. stupid. <laughs> Carolyn says, F Troop. My dad and I used to watch the reruns together. Marcy says, Laverne and Shirley. Two independent women bucking bucking convention, living on their own, working and having fun, and being absolutely hilarious. I wrote back, milk and Pepsi. And she wrote, you tried it, didn't you? And I said, of course you didn't. And she said, of course I did. She said, one of the best episodes is where they get into a big fight and Shirley starts complaining about the milk and Pepsi and starts pouring them into each other and makes a huge mess. (laughs) Mimi says, too many to mention. Mandy says, I love MASH. I've seen every episode at least three times or more. I never got into MASH. I like MASH. I liked it better when I was older. My favorite, one of my favorite lines from that was Radar was coming in with trays of drinks, you know, alcohol. And he said, I ran out of ice, so I used vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the, the, um, the quote you used to have on your Facebook page that I just loved so much. No, that wasn't that. That was that was from Cheers. No, was, I know, but uh, it, yeah. it's it's along the same line of that. So go ahead. What was it? Oh, from Cheers. Norm says, uh, "Women can't live with them. Pass the beer nuts." Oh, so classy. <laughs> makes me so proud. Uh, Sandra says her favorite show is The Closer. I loved The Closer. You never watched it. I did. I watched it. Did you? Yeah. I. I I stopped. never missed. I stopped it. I think the last four seasons I didn't watch. I never missed it. There was a show also on the same channel as that. It was a T- TNT show, I think, mm-hmm. um, called Saving Grace. Uh, Holly Hunter was on it. Oh, it was such a good show. No, I didn't watch it. It was only about three seasons, but it was so good. Kathy says, without a doubt, it was MASH. Kimberly says, a tie between The Office and King of Queens. Love me some King of Queens. Yeah. Corinne says, Grey's Anatomy. Dawn says, Frasier, Friends, Criminal Minds. <gasps> How could I have forgotten my Frasier? I know. You watch them almost every night. Well, well you used to. I've been on a break from them. But, um, yeah, I still watch Frasier, and everybody loves Raymond all the time. Michelle says, Survivor. Kathy says, Lost and Breaking Bad. You were a Lost fan, right? Yeah. I never watched that. Larry says, for the premium channel, Sopranos. Regular? Uh, Magnum P.I., the original. Cassandra says Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That was good. That's that's in my top you, ten. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I never watched it. Would I like it? I don't know. I don't like vampires. No, you wouldn't like it. Okay. <laughs> John says The Odd Couple. Denise says That 70s Show. Dawn says I Love Lucy. Lisa says Criminal Minds, which reminded me of Without a Trace. Yeah. That used to come on right after Criminal Minds. I loved that show. Uh, Anthony Paglia? Love, yeah, blah, blah. I don't know. He was on Frasier as Daphne's brother. drunk brother, and then he had this super serious role on Without a Trace. Larissa says, kill more girls. Uh, in case you didn't understand that, that was, kill more girls. <laughs> Vanessa says, 90210. I never missed it. I never missed it back in the day either. And then Denise, obviously my soul sister, Says Gilmore Girls, Friends, Breaking Bad. So those are my top three as well. So there you go. Yep. So uh, I'm going to do one more. One more what? One more song okay. for me because you know why? Why? Oh, the same song. Sip the Cardi. It's your birthday. Right, it, it was bleeped. It, I heard it bleep this time. All right, so we are going to finish up with this today. No blog post today. Today it's all about fun, all about celebrating. If you would like to um, give me a little gift, I'm actually going to write something, I think, on Sunday. I would love to hear something about maybe how I've helped you, how I've inspired you, how I've uplifted your day. Um, Anything like that would be most appreciated. Um, We've got the 30-day 
hopefuless challenge starting on Monday. So what do you got to do? Well, you can hit subscribe on the podcast. Make sure you are following me on social media. Sign up for my newsletter. If you're not on my email list, I do not bombard you with emails every day. Uh, You don't want to miss a thing. So sign up for all of those things and tune in to Facebook on Monday for a Facebook Live taking place at 10 a.m. to explain everything. The podcast will go off on Monday morning as usual with the first topic for the first 30 days of the Hopefulist Challenge. It's all going down on Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Hashtag Hopefulist Challenge. So happy Easter. Happy Passover. Have a great weekend. Thank you to my guest, Joseph. Thanks for having me. For being on the podcast and helping the hopeless celebrate the first birthday. This was fun. Good. Maybe you'll do it more often. I don't know. (laughs) So stay safe. And uh, I hope you have lots of yummy food to eat over the long weekend. And go make today your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit Hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Now you can say Happy Easter, dear. Happy Easter. All right. Woo-woo. Happy birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday.